there spinning friends and welcome back to another spinning sarah video today i just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse into the way that i spin supported with my support spindles today i'm going to be spinning some woodland pixie bats uh, this is very airy fiber it's been carded it's got lots of add-ins in it and i wanted to show you straight from the beginning how i get my leader going right from the very tip of my spindle and also how I draft with this particular type of fiber and also how the spinning rhythm goes. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll get started. <laughs> All right, friends, so here's what we do. We take our fiber and we kind of just fluff out the end a little bit so it's really transparent I'm sure you guys can see straight through this and I take my spindle and I because I spin clockwise I'm going to put the spindle behind or in front of the fiber the fiber goes behind the spindle shaft and I wrap around the spindle shaft just a couple of times you can see here it's still see-through but not completely okay and then from there, I draft a little bit and then insert some twist manually. I don't really, I mean, I, I do flick the spindle, but it's not very hard. So it's just really quick little bursts to get myself a little distance away from the tip of the spindle. Right. And here you can see we have a little leader with fiber built up and that little beginning is still on the shaft. You just keep wrapping it around. So now I can put it in my spindle bowl and start spinning from there. I am not a continuous spinner. I spin my spindle shaft, I stop it, and then I draft to get ahead of the twist. And I will lift my fiber as needed to help it draft smoothly. So here's, you know, I have a pretty good little length. It's across my entire lap. So I'm going to butterfly this across my hand. And now we're at the point where I can wind this on. If you're lucky, all this little fluff will have worked its way into the center of the shaft. I wasn't so lucky this time. But what you can do is take it and pinch it and then wrap it around the shaft and around itself a few times. And now your leader is anchored. I'm pulling on it and it's not going anywhere and you can just wind on the shaft to continue. All right, so here's where I'm gonna show you guys really closely how I draft when I spin supported. I do a lot of this where I pinch and pull up with the fiber, allowing the bottom of the fiber supply to draft really evenly and easily, but kind of closing off this top of the fiber supply. Often I'm opening and closing my fingers, so I will do this to let more fibers through. And I never have my spindle spinning for very, very long because I don't want a ton of twist building up in the fibers. And like I've said before in my other spinning videos, I draft just past the pull apart stage. So when you get to the point where when you pull on your thread or on your single and it wants to draft, that's where you know that you should stop and then give it a quick flick. And now you have a good little spot where you can collapse your thread. It will ply back on itself and you know you have enough twist when you can easily pull off the plyback. So easily let go on the plyback. And when you bounce your thread a little bit, not very hard because it'll break, but if you bounce it a little bit, it doesn't want to draft. And then you wind on your spindle. And keep going. I often use the tip of my spindle as an anchor point, and actually I will pull the spindle 
away from the drafting zone to draft that way. So it's less me moving my left arm and more me moving both arms together and away from each other. So it's almost as if they were magnets. My left hand controlling how thick or how much fiber gets into the twist and my right hand moving away from the fiber supply and providing the twist. I know by feel when I have enough twist and when I need to add more just based on the, the way that I draft. Now, let me show you what happens when I get a big, thick garbly gook right here, okay? I don't like that. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll spin my spindle and then I'll put it in my lap and I'll take these two pieces, this thick part right over the top I'll go on either side of it and untwist it and slowly pinch and draft and moving my fingers as necessary to get to the thicker parts. And now that spot is no longer super thick and we're ready to continue going. Because when I spin my yarns, I want them to be consistent. I, I know that there are always going to be inconsistencies because I'm not a machine but I want to keep those to a minimum. So I've built up too much twist right here by my finger. So I'm going to take the top edge of this fiber and lift it. And that's going to allow the twist to jump into the bottom part of the fiber and not have it be quite so chubby in that one spot. And if you guys have been with me for very long, you know that I am a big advocate for building a stable cop because I wrote an article about that for Ply Magazine. And part of building a stable cop, for me anyway, is using a temporary cop when you wind on your singles at first because then this allows you to focus primarily on your spinning and not on your cop building. And then when you are ready, you can focus on your cop building. So let's do that for a second. We've got this little temporary cop built up. So I'm gonna put the fiber between my first and middle finger, and I'm just going to butterfly this fiber off of my spindle. And now, we're back to the very beginning. So now I can focus on laying my singles down nice and tight together at the bottom of my spindle shaft. And you can see these are not overlapping. They're just snugged tight together. All right, so we're forming a good foundation for our cup. And then once you get as high as you think you wanna go for right now, you can start going back down and overlapping and continue on down to the base and then come back up. And now all of that temporary cop is put down here and we're ready to continue. So right there, I got a little more twist in my fiber supply than I wanted to. So I just untwisted, so like you're twisting off a bottle cap and 
getting rid of some of that extra twist so I could draft the single easily and continue on. Do you guys spin like this? Or do you f spin continuously where you draft with your hands, both hands, while allowing the spindle to spin freely in your palm? Let me know down in the comments below how you guys support spin, or if you even do. I keep my singles consistent by watching the drafting area. And if I see it's getting too thin or too thick, I make adjustments at that point. Things are going along swimmingly right now. So my fiber got all twisted right here and I didn't like it. So I just untwisted it because I spin from the bottom and allow things from the top to join in as they want to. And sometimes you just have to turn the whole thing over. So this is a little piece of silk that's all bunched up. And I don't want it all bunched up. So now let's talk about joins. I broke it. This little piece right here, I don't like it. It's not drafting. It's just being chunky. So I'm going to put it over there. Now I'm going to take my single and put it into my fiber supply pretty far down. And now when I add twist, it's still going to grab on to my single. But if it doesn't, you can untwist. Just like if I got too much twist in the fiber supply, you can untwist it and draft and allow the fibers to catch. And that will help join everything together. So now you can see right here where this blue and this green have joined and they're kind of spiraling around. That's where my join is. But since this silk is going to spiral around all over the place, you're never going to know that that was a join in my yarn. Because it's about to do it again and it's not going to be a join. Yeah, that silk just wants to be difficult. And chunky so we're just gonna let it do its thing it's gonna work out in the ply now let's say let's do another join okay some friends have told me they've had trouble with joins see how light and fluffy this is you can clearly see through it this is where my twist is stopping so 
This is my new fiber supply. This is my old fiber supply. When you're support spinning, or really doing any kind of spinning, you want your joins to be more fluffy than not because fluffy equals easy, all right? So you're gonna take these two and you're just gonna lay them together. Now remember, right here, here, right here is our drafting triangle between my fingers and this point, all right? This is the point where all the twist goes into the fiber. We want the fibers from here and from here to grab at the same time. So we're just gonna lay them on top, give it a little backwards twist and pull it out just a little bit. And then when you start drafting, you can see that I can no longer separate these because the little fluffy ends from my actual fiber supply have caught into the twist into the drafting triangle. And so now I can just draft like I normally would. And my fiber is none the wiser that it was ever separated. Let's do it again. Ready? We're going to join it again. Let me get this wound on. I'm going to, you can see I've got some twist built up because it comes back all the way to here. So I'm going to untwist it and I'm going to just pull. All right. These fibers are part of this up here. These fibers are free to be joined to these down here. So we're just going to lay them back together, untwist, allow them to catch and you can do this by hand too and start drafting again with the very wispy tips joined together and we're back together and i don't think i can find the join in this and tugging on it doesn't rip it apart it's just a perfect join that you never know was there. All right, now we've got a, another baby cop. So we're gonna butterfly this one off again. And we're gonna focus on building our stable, permanent cop. All right, so here we go. Up, pretty close together. Don't go all the way to the top. See, I'm stopping right here where this darker green is. And I'm gonna go back down, making sure to keep plenty of pressure on my single. So when we lay it down, it's nice and tight and it's not going to slip away underneath of the other layers that would go on top of it. So we're going tight back up again. My left hand is slowly unwinding and I went a little bit higher that time and I'm gonna go back down. And you can see really good with this blue how I'm not staying terribly close together anymore. They're not laying down like you would want planks on a floor. They're just kind of like sticks that you throw down in your yard. They're kind of side by side, but they're not touching. And now we're ready to go again. This blue silk is giving me a ton. And that 
is it. You just keep going. You keep picking up the yarn or keeping picking up fiber to make drafting easier and keep adding twist and that's it. All right guys, so that's it. That's the demo of me spinning supported and a little tutorial for joins and how to start and how to draft and things like that with a supported spindle. So with a little patience, you can go from this, which is barely full and a whole bowl of fluff to this with a little patience and persistence. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already and would like to, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to be notified. Uh, you know all the YouTube stuff. It helps the channel. It helps me somehow, magically. Uh, if you need to get in contact with me, you can always leave a comment down below. Or you can find me on Ravelry. I am Mrs. Flick there. And on Instagram, I am Mrs. Flick01. Until next time, happy spinning.